Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about characteristic features of minor fina. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in my previous uh, video, I have talked about major and minor fina. If you want to check that video, you can. Link is in the first pinned comment. And you have seen that these are classified as minor phyla. Okay. Uh, today we will talk about them in detail. Okay. Let's start. First one is the Mesozoa. So they are small bodied animals uh, contains more than 50 cells so very small organisms they do not have any internal organs nervous system or digestive system because they have only few cells right now they are internal parasites of marine invertebrates okay next is chinophora so they are also small and delicate animals they are also known as comb jellies and they are found in marine environment and they contain more than 100 species. Next is Nemartinia. They are also known as ribbon worms due to the shape. They have ribbon like structure and they have large proboscis. They are mostly marine some fresh water. This phylum contains more than 900 species. Next is Acanthocephala. They are also known as spiny headed worms. Their head contains spine like structure. Proboscis contains hooks. They are endoparasitic in nature. They live in the Intestine of vertebrates, mainly birds and fishes. Okay. Next is Entoprocta. They are aquatic, tiny, sessile, and have a crown of tentacles. Crown of tentacles uh, mean that means the tentacles are aligned or arranged. like the crown in this way. They are also known as goblet worms or nodding animals. Mouth and anus are inside the crown of tentacles. So inside this crown, mouth and anus are present. Gastrotrica, they are worm-like microscopic animals, aquatic. They are Predators or scavengers. So scavengers means scavengers are those animals who feed on dead bodies. So they are either predators or scavengers. This phylum contains 450 species. Next is Kynorinka. They are microscopic. Segmented, limbless marine animals. They are also known as mud dragons. They have spines along the body. Next is Nematomorpha. They are long, thin worms. This phylum contains 240 species. They are also called horse hair worms due to their appearance. They are free living as adults, but as juveniles, they are parasitic in arthropods. Priapulida. They are warm like marine animals. They have proboscis. They have chitina cuticle. So they have the cuticle that is made up of chitin. Next is Siponculida. They are also known as peanut worms. Uh, they have very uh, soft body. 
unsegmented they are unsegmented marine animal muscular trunk and the retractable introvert so they have muscular trunk and what is the retractable introvert so introvert is basically it is basically a flexible anterior section of the body flexible anterior section of the body and it can be extended for feeding extended for feeding and the mouth is located at the tip of the introvert so the mouth is located at the tip of the introvert and that is surrounded by tentacles okay next is ecurida so they are also known as spoon worms they are marine animals with unsegmented body they have sausage shaped trunk and an extensible proboscis next is tardi grata so they are also known as water bears they are microscopic animals they are also known as indicators of environmental health they are important organisms for assessing environmental quality um as they can survive in environment that other organisms cannot that's why they are the indicators of environmental health they can assess uh environment environmental quality okay next is conicophora they are also known as velvet worms they are worm like unsegmented body they have with a chitinous cuticle again their body is chitinous which has the cuticle and that is made up of chitin pentastomide worm like animals uh, with segmented body their body are segmented and that are covered in a chitinous cuticle their parasites that infect the respiratory systems of reptiles next is poronida they are smallest phyla uh, they have only 12 living species they are bullet shaped with an umbrella like body region at the front so the uh, front of the body looks like umbrella and they have a collar in the middle and a ring of tentacles at back next is brachiopoda they are also known as lamp shells they are marine animals with two valve shells that are hinged together by a pair of ventral teeth so uh, the shells are of two valve two valve shells they have and those shells are hinged together by the pair of ventral teeth they are useful for determining environmental factors like climate and water depth next is ketognatha they are also known as arrow worms they are marine animals slender transparent body they have head has a row of sharp spines next is pogonophora they are also known as beard worms they live in ocean floor and next hemichordata they are marine animals they share characteristics of both chordate and non chordate non chordate specifically echinodermata they have soft body and the body is unsegmented and the body is divided into proboscis collar and trunk so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video